What if I told you that you could turn any image, literally a random photo from your phone, into a realistic moving AI generated video? And you don't need to pay a single cent. That's right, while everyone else is spending hundreds of dollars on premium video generation tools, you can create stunning video content from simple images using completely free tools that have exploded in capability in 2025. In this guide, I will walk you through the exact step by step process I use to transform static images into live like videos that are nearly indistinguishable from real footage. The best part, everything I'm about to show you is accessible to anyone, regardless of your technical skills or budget. So grab that vacation photo, family portrait or product image and let's turn it into something extraordinary that will leave your friends wondering how you did it. So first of all, let's go to this link which I'll put in the video description below. And once you are here on the first page and you are signed in with the Google account, you will see examples of other creations. For example, we can take a look at this video right here, which is in this resolution 30 frames per second and it's long 5 seconds. Now here on the left, we can see here that the model used was clean standard version 1.6 and the method was image to video. Now the prompt down below is also right here and then we also have the negative prompt. So what we actually don't want in our video. Then we have the seed and consistency output. Now I think this is pretty much cool. So let's create one video ourselves. So here click on create and then here you will be greeted with many options. First one is text to image. Then the next one is image to video. And then the next one even is describe. And then we also have text to video here as well. And then restyle video so to change it. And then we also have all tools right here. Now I will show you guys how you guys can transform your static image into a moving AI video. Video. So simply click here on image to video and now here click upload to upload your own image. Here I uploaded this exact photo so this elephant and then here down below you can simply put in your prompt. Now if you don't have any ideas for your prompt you can simply click here write with AI and now just wait for Neem AI video to finish generating the prompt for you. Now when this is done you can simply see here the prompt then here you can also click on add and you can also add for example something else to the prompt like lightning accent colors styled rapid motion but i will leave it as it is now here on three dots you can also click auto enhance prompt so this will enhance your prompt even further and you can also click here on prompt style and then you can see here that it has five options factual dynamic surreal creative and placeholder style i will leave it to the factual so that is about it now down below there is the most important part. When you want to animate your images, you can simply click here on the model and here you will have a ton of the models like Cog Video X. So this one will only use five of the lightnings. By the way, this tool uses the credits or the lightnings to generate videos and images. So make sure that you guys are aware of that. Now here I will use this model, which is WAN. So this one I think is really, really cool. So I will use it right here. So WAN. And now we can see here the estimate how long this will take to generate. Here I will click on generate and hopefully we will get something really cool out of this generation. Now here I will also show you guys that with the free account you also get 150 credits for free so completely for free or if you want you can also use the this option right here which will add 500 credits to your account for spending only a dollar but it expires in 14 days. So keep in mind if you want to create more videos on this platform you will have to buy some credits on this platform. However, if you don't want, you can simply use, let's say, another 10 minute mail account or another Google account and create a free account once again on this website and you will get new account for, for free with 150 credits included. So one thing which I really like about this platform is also that it has this progress percentage indicator. So here you can see that how fast it actually generates the video itself. So right now, let me just show you the video this tool actually generates. Now here you can see the resolution of this video is 720p. Now this is how it looks like. I think it looks very very nice for the AI animated video. Now you can see that this elephant is actually walking towards the camera right here and it looks almost very very realistic. Now I think it's really cool to see that that this tool is able to do such a realistic effect on our image to video generation and then here on the left down below you can see that this is only 16 
frames per second. Now, yeah, overall, I'm quite happy with this video. Now, if you want, you can also click here to upscale the video itself. So if you click on this, you can see here that you can go up to four times the resolution and you guys can even 2x the frame rate. So right now, this will go from, from 16 frames to 32 frames. And here I will click on generate. And as you can see here, this will take a few minutes to generate. So right now, let me show you guys how you guys can generate videos on this platform from the simple prompt. So while you're here on the create page, you will click here on this menu text to video. And here I will add this prompt. So this is the prompt which the Neem AI actually generated for us. So this is how it looks like. Now here for the model, I will go with the something else. So I will go with van and for the aspect ratio, I will go with 16 by nine. And by the way, while using this option, so text to video, you can see here how many of the models are available on this platform. For example, you can even use Google's VO2. So this one, I think it's the best among them all. However, you cannot actually use it with the free account. You will have to purchase the credits to actually use it. So here I will go with the WAN. So we will have the fair comparison between the text to video as well as the image to video with our prompt right here. So yeah, I think that every setting here is dialed in and here I will click on generate and hopefully we will get something really impressive on this platform. And meanwhile, this is doing its thing. If you guys are enjoying this type of content, make sure to just smash up the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Now, the interesting thing is that you can also generate images on this platform. So here I will click text to image and I will also add the same prompt as I used for the image to video as well as text to video as well. Now for the aspect ratio, I will go with 16 by nine here and the model, as you can see, you can use whatever you like. I think I will go here with the Google image gen. So hopefully this is a good one because it uses most of the credits on the platform. And this is the same compared to the Flux Pro. So here we can also go, for example, with Google image gen. And right now I'll click on the generate and hopefully we will get impressive image nevertheless. And now I will also generate the same image with the same prompt, but using different model, in this case, Flux Pro. So here I will click on generate, and then we are going to compare the two images. So the one generated with Google Image Gen and the one generated with Flux Pro. So here we have the image from Google's Image Gen. I think it looks very, very nice. You can also see that it's a bit grainy for the AI image. And this is the resolution, by the way. And the cool thing about this that about this tool actually is that you can simply click here image to video and this will animate your own image which you created on this platform so overall this image looks very very nice so right now let's take a look at the second one which we generated using the flux pro model so this one looks more artistic in my opinion doesn't look so natural and overall it's also a good image now if i would compare between the two i would go for the google image because it looks more realistic than the first one. So yeah, these are just two of my sense for these two images. Now let's take a look at the upscaled video. So how would you know that the video is actually upscaled? You would see here the HD option. So right now we can take a look at the finally more smooth video compared to the one with only 16 frames. So this one is 32 frames and it's long five seconds. So yeah, this one is also very, very nice, but I think it has more of the artifact on the nose of the elephant compared to the one before. This is something that keep in mind for. So overall, the video is smoother. So this is what we aimed for while upscaling this video. Now let's take a look at the last video. So this is the text to video. We use the same prompt here and this is the resolution. So 720p. This video doesn't look that bad in my opinion. It also looks very, very realistic, but it has some of the artifacts as you can see here on the elephant and also the trees look very mushy and not HD. So yeah, overall, I think that this is a really cool tool. And if you want to use this tool more or generate more video, 
videos, more images, make sure that you just create another burner account on it and you will get additionally 150 free credits. So I think this is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, smash up the like button on this one and also subscribe to the channel. Your support is highly appreciated. With that said, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video.